Bonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and Jerome, the Saint environmentalist, and we are interviewing Kevin Finnegan yes. next to Amanda's statue. Well, and Kevin, I want to ask you the three questions they ask people. What? First, what do you know about Fukushima? Well, I know that all these reactors were meltdown. I mean, initially off the core, um, the earthquake hitting in, then what happened with the tsunami. So obviously these power stations lost power for prolonged periods of time and they you know had severe meltdowns and started losing control of the uh -huh. temperatures and explosions occurred and lots of spent fuel was put into the environment. I wish yeah. quantities are very deadly. <laughs> and it's <laughs> no. still ongoing. Yeah, this is what happened. So you have these cores going in and uh, they're so hot, they're still getting the highest radiation levels still to this day. So this is an increasing event, which is not over yet. Right. It's certainly not over. The levels are still increasing there. Uh, they take all the labels off the end of everything, start burning everything. So uh, you're seeing now people are trying to fight back, obviously, with the, the restrictions being released. And actually food and produce and fish are being sold in the market from these areas again. That's right. Which is lunacy. And um, Thailand you know, they, really, they really can't get forced. in there. I think it's a whole show. I think... Uh, Anything you hear about that is a lie because I don't think anyone can really get near there. It's so blasted out. But then again, they're putting tours through there and stuff too. That's right. They're, they're doing like things, you know, all sorts of crazy things to bring people back in there. That's right. So it's a huge, crazy track. It's craziness. It's a crazy train. Good God. Okay, so then yes. what do you know about Hanford? You know, it was a plutonium enriching facility. Uh, used to make all the bombs and stuff. And the, they've had, you know, collapses and workers get sick there and... You know, they've had a quarantine areas and had a lockdown and they had that cave or that, that uh, underground thing collapsing this year. They blew up another building out there this year. Remember they detonated mm -hmm. that one building? Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think it's a whole scam. We were out there. Again, the second scam. They're it's all big scam. scams. It's true. Um, and they're polluted. I mean, this one, you know, real bad. <laughs> real bad contamination again. Okay, and so then that's events. my now third these question. Are ongoing events. None Here's of my end. third question. Yes. What do you know? What do you think? What is nuclear contamination? What do you know about nuclear contamination? Nuclear contamination, you know, you're going to start having genetic uh, mutations. And uh, it's going to cause all sorts of, you know, things when that happens. And uh, do you know what causes it? Genetic mutations. Yeah, the nuclear contamination, what actually causes it. What, what's the answer? Do you know? No. DNA destruction. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And actually it drills holes like in your organs, like invisible lasers. Like These invisible. are microscopic. It weakens your, yeah. it weakens your organs. You're, like it goes after your heart or your liver or your kidneys, mm -hmm. your pituitary gland. What's the other one that it goes after? Thyroid in your brain. Mm -hmm. Loves the brain. Yeah. So that's why it's important not to eat sugar. So, because well, cancer loves sugar. So is there anything else you want to say to the youth of the universe here about why you're out here as a young man, why your friends are saying, hey, it's not worth it. Why is it worth it to you? Why? Because at least I know I did something. Because why? At least I know I did something. Exactly. I couldn't live myself, I didn't. That's right. Well, and this yeah. this video is going to go up into the ethereal internet and we'll oh. make it co co common so people can share it. I think we're here today because what's going on with us and the same thing with when we went on the mayors, we're just telling these people to keep keep walking. Keep walking until you die. You know? Keep walking. That's what and they're telling us. if you do us. die, we're not even going to know. We might have been left on the trail and you might have walked off. Well, it's like... It's like Amanda. Do we really know she died? They she assume. Death, we know so. nothing about her. All he knows is that he I says he lost her. I think it's just a symbol for all of them. It is a metaphor. Trail. That's right. It is a metaphor for the oppression of the capitalists because and, they know, were saying a, that they were cleansing that. the area for the population. Yeah, a, a reminder that the American government is a bunch of killers and they've always been a bunch of murderers pretty much the u.s government is a bunch of murderers and here's why kids well it's not just the u.s government it's the banking forces behind all of that like it's that's what's well, that's what's motivating the nuclear industry is the banking industry they they're making billions of dollars building these plants getting paid for the cleanup that won't work it's money and per i mean it's a win-win think about it for them they have a product that they can never resolve, but you have to pay billions of dollars every year just to manage it. I know. So, it's really sad. 
Well, I'm going to end here. Thank you for the interview, Kevin. Seriously appreciate it. Put your courage feet on, you guys. We're entering in year eight. And on the news, crickets, nothing on mainstream media today. I, yeah, I think that they had some meeting over there. Where, today? Yeah, I think they had some sort of ceremony. Where did you see it? Online. The Emperor What something? newspaper? I'm not sure. Okay, but it was not mainstream media. I don't know. Okay, well then we have no idea. All right, well it was on the internet then. I actually did see one article about it saying that the thing is out of control, that they don't have solutions yet, that they're working on it. Uh, but that was not mainstream media. Again, it was some alternative thing. So, ciao you guys.